Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a gauge chart or some may call it a speedometer chart and this is something that you can create and put it into a dashboard or put it into a PowerPoint presentation but you can also keep it up online and share it and share it in bed. I'll show you how to do it in Google Sheets. So here I am in Google Sheets and all you really do need are just two columns of data and the first column I'll just make that as a header row column. I'll call this period, I'll call this uh, percentage complete and let's just make one gauge chart and we'll call it Q1 and maybe this is 40% um, complete. And that's all you really actually really need and all I need to do is just select this range of data, go to insert and insert chart and by default it's going to put the, the best guess of a chart for that, and this is a chart, pie chart, but we don't need a pie chart, we need a gauge chart. So click on the drop down there and look for the gauge chart. And basically, that's all you, all you need. Now there's some things that you do need to change. Of course, we don't have from zero to, zero is right, but to 1,000%, 10,000%, uh, that's not right. So we need to change some things here. And that's just basically taking into the customization part. So when you customize it, I'll go through the setup. Actually, let's go through the setup here first. So the data range, uh, later on when we want to add some more, we're going to go through that and just change that. And this label is basically telling us we want that label here as Q1. If we didn't want, if we wanted something else, if we remove that, then that would be gone, right? But let's add the period label back there. The value here is percentage complete. If we remove that, basically we would remove the whole chart. So we don't want to do that. Control Z to undo. And if we wanted to switch columns, basically it just take the columns that would become the period and that would become complete. We don't want that, right? And the first row's headers, uh, Google is smart enough to figure that one out. Let's go to the customization part, the customized part. And that's where we do a little bit more of the modifications. Now, if you want to change the background color, instead of having this white color, you can change that to orange. Let's say we have that background color is orange, but I like the white, it's fine. We don't need any. The chart border, the line here, if we don't want that border, that gray border, we can select none or we can just select something like black hair, right? And under the gauge, this is where it kind of becomes important that we select the right ending gauge, right? So here we don't want 100, we want one. From zero to one, zero percent to 100 percent, that'd be the correct value to put in there. And if we wanted to kind of look at some thresholds, some visual cues of where the it would be red, yellow, or green. I'll just by default, I'll just choose thirds. Zero to 33 would be red. And then we'd go from 33 to 66. Maybe that would be orange or yellow. And in this case, this should be 0.33. And here we go from 0.33 to 0.66. Or we can just do 66%. I think that would take that. Yep, no, didn't do that. So 0.66. And from 0.66 to 1. That's because we had probably 1 here. Now, we have the color coding here that is appropriate for the gauge. If we want to add or update some of the chart titles, you can notice that the chart title took from the header here. If we didn't want that there, if we wanted to say here, maybe I wanted to bring back, um, maybe I'll call this uh, completion percentages. All right, percentages, and that would be the title there. There's also an area for subtitles, um, but if you wanted to kind of uh, align this, we can make this centered and bold, and I won't do any of the other um, fonts and font styles, but we do have the option of having a subtitle. So we have a subtitle here, and I can call this one FY 2020. Do the same thing here, I'll just center it. And we've got that there. Now. If we had some additional data to add in there, let's say I have Q2, uh, make this one 50%, Q3, you can see that it's added other gauges now. So basically when you have additional rows, they add additional gauges to the um, chart area. So I'll make this one 60%, and maybe the last one Q4, uh, we'll make that one 89%, right? So it's added there. And if you didn't like them like stack like this, we can extend out our plot area, our chart area like that. And you can see it's nice enough to figure out that it expanded the range here. So if I clicked on edit here, 
edit chart to bring up the, our navigation pane here. If I go under the, the data range here, you can see A1 to B5, it's picked it up quite nicely. Now, if we wanted to share this, just the image by itself, we can just click on the three dots here and go under where it says to download. We can download it as a PNG file or PDF file or F, uh, SVG file. Also, if we wanted to publish this chart, we want to put it onto a blog or a, another website, we can click on publish and it will give you the option to publish your chart. So if this is publicly viewable. Now, you can either publish the link and just have a link that goes there or you can embed this chart. So what this does, it, it gives you the iframe embed code so you actually see the chart or the, the whole sheet here. Now, most of the time, probably you just want to share the chart. And if we have to share the chart, it'll just embed that chart anywhere we want with this in code. Now, there's a, two options. You can either do the image or interactive. What image does is it just embeds the image. There's no interactivity. Uh, with, a, with the interactive option, and you can see it just changes that particular format equals interactive versus format equals image. What the interactive one does for you is if we had a bar chart, and some bar charts, if you mouse over some of the bars, a label will come up if it's a stack bar chart. You know, there's one bar and it's showing red, green, yellow. It doesn't happen here with the gauge chart, but if you had a bar chart and the bottom part was green, the top part was red, and the middle part was yellow, when you hover over the different color segments, a label would pop up, a mouse over would pop up. That's what the interactive would do. So that's the way that we can create a gauge chart. You can see it's fairly easy to do in Google Sheets. Unfortunately, if we did this in Microsoft Excel, there'll be a little bit more steps. If you wanted something quick and easy just to put onto a presentation, the Google gauge chart option is the way to go. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.